Hello friends, today we are going to learn another useful excel trick which will be helping us to perform mathematical operations with columns and rows in excel having units attached to it. So let's see. To see this, I have a data sheet with me wherein I have I have computer components listed over here, then number of pieces of computer components and rates in column number D listed over here. In column number B, I have components like laptops, monitors, CPUs. In column number C, there are number of pieces. In column number D, the rate is given, but you can see that in column number C as well as column number D, there are no units attached to it. We don't understand whether this says rate is uh, for, uh, in rupees or dollars or pounds or sterling or any other currency unit is attached to it. So if we want to attach, so before we want to we see how we attach currency and then perform mathematical operation, let us check first whether we are able to perform mathematical operation on these numerical values uh, without any units in column number E against total heading. So let's see how we do it. We will see e uh, write e uh, equals then call, uh, here we will bring C2 and then apply multi uh, multiplication formula and then multiply it by rate and then we will press enter and we see that the mathematical operations get successfully performed if we replicate the formula throughout the cell we will throughout the column we will see that all the rows have performed the mathematical operation correctly now leaving this as it is if i want to attach say rupee as unit to rate then i will simply go over here and add rupee in front of this and I hit enter. The sooner I hit enter, there are two things which we can uh, observe. One is that this gets converted to a string rather than being a numerical value. And at the same time, we see that there is an error message because now Excel cannot perform mathematical, mathematical operation since this is now treated as a string and hence there is an error here. Let's see if we can uh, repeat this particular test by applying units after 200 in the second row against monitors. So I apply units here and see again the sooner I hit enter this gets converted into a string or a character set and as a result we get an error message while performing the mathematical operation in the column E against total. Now what is the way out if we want to attach units to the numerical values in Excel as well as we want to perform the mathematical operations on such numerical values having units. So let us see. Now, rather than simply writing units and converting this numerical value into a string or a character set, we would like to attach units. At the same time, we would like to perform mathematical operations. So see, uh, let us see how we can do this particular thing. So what we will do is, we will first select all the cells or say for that matter, this particular column wherein we want to attach units first. So what we will do is we will press control and one to get the format cell option. The sooner we uh, press control one, we get a pop-up cell uh, saying format cells. Here we see that the formatting of the cell is done as general. We will go to custom and then remove general from here 
next thing what we will do is we want to add units after the mathematical value or the numerical value in column number c so what we will do is we will first uh, type 0 leave a blank space then add an inverted comma and then write units and to close the inverted comma and then hit ok the sooner we click ok we will see that units is attached to each and every column each and every uh, computer component in column number C. Here you can observe that the mathematical operations which we had done earlier remains unaffected. There is no error message though the mathematical operation is still getting performed. We can recheck it once again while this, this is the formula and we will replicate the formula and you will see that the whole list is again doing the same operations. We can further check it by again pressing Ctrl and 1 and uh, before we do that we will select the column number D then press Ctrl V get the format cell option removes general here then type here now this time we want rupee to appear first like this inverted comma pose leave this thing uh, space and then uh, add a zero press ok and now you see that the number numerical value gets a unit to each of the component in column number d now here also we can see that the mathematical operations get unaffected and still is successfully performed now if we want to add unit to the total column or column number E we can again perform the same thing we will press control 1 get the pop format cell pop up box go to customs remove general from here and now we want rupees unit attached to the values here now this likewise like this and then you will see that the mathematical operations are also getting performed and the units are also attached to each of the numerical values and still Excel is able to perform the mathematical operations. This is a useful technique for people who are into finance or doing accounting activities that the statements will clearly signify that what is the unit attached to say number of pieces or the rates with it say there are several times when we have to make calculations with either meters centimeters depicting the length sometimes we will want to do some calculation depicting the weights having grams or kilograms or tons or metric tons and so on and so forth uh, with these units uh, this is the way we can perform mathematical operations uh, very successfully. I hope you have liked this particular video. If you have liked this video, please press the like button. If you have not yet subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to continuously get new updates for the videos added from time to time. Thank you very much.